Hello, everybody, and a warm welcome to our webinar today about the Evo Plus Garage Door Opener. Uh, my name is Stefan. I'm head of the Academy of Summer, and I do this webinar today together with my colleague Holger. Holger is the expert uh, regarding to the garage door opener. So, uh, Holger? Yes, hello uh, all together. Um, yeah, I'm the technical expert, and my name is uh, Holger Beer. And uh, today we are talking about uh, Evo, uh, Evo Plus uh, operator. It's the garage door opener uh, from Sommer. So, uh, preface, we have a preface about the operator, the performance um, as a ceiling uh, motor. As you can see, um, we have a galvanized uh, track, uh, what we uh, use. Um, there is a tension single-way chain uh, built in uh, inside, uh, what is uh, wear and maintenance-free. So, it's not necessary uh, to grease or, or oil it, it's uh, maintenance-free. Uh, we have a traveling motor which is built in over here and uh, it runs uh, along the chain uh, in this track up and down and uh, open uh, your garage. Uh, on the end we have the control unit housing, there's the transformer uh, uh, included. Um, the operator is suitable for following door types, it's uh, for sectional door, I think that's the most common uh, door uh, type what you've got today, but also a retractable door is possible uh, to operate. Uh, if you have a canopy door, so it slides here directly um, up and down, um, it's possible, or a swing door, um, this type is also possible to operate. Uh, or even if you have a side opening sectional door, so uh, from one side to the other, uh, that's uh, also possible as well. Uh, it's uh, just like this partitional, uh, there will be separate brackets necessary. So for sectional door, retractable door, uh, the parts what we deliver um, are enough, are fine, but for another kind of door, you will need some accessories. Um, the packaging is like this, it uh, contains the complete operator, so here is everything in, in one housing, there is the, the track, the motor, the um, uh, one transmitter uh, is already included, uh, the transformer housing, so everything uh, is, is inside. There is a label on the side uh, of the package, so over here. Uh, where you can see the serial number, uh, you can see the, the Newton, so there are three different uh, types available, 600 Newton. Uh, over here there is a 800 Newton uh, motor version and a 1100 Newton version, so a more powerful uh, motor for, uh, let's say, bigger doors if you have a huge uh, garage uh, for two or three cars, um, yeah, you need a bigger, a stronger uh, motor version. Um, in detail, it's like this, uh, um, you have the control unit uh, housing included, um, there is the carriage uh, pre-installed in the, in the rail with a chain already uh, fixed, there are uh, tracks uh, uh, joints, uh, two of them, uh, there are in total uh, three tracks um, uh, included, there is uh, the door arm uh, included, uh, two versions, so here uh, the one for the sectional door, the straight one uh, for the uh, retractable door. There is an assembly kit uh, uh, included, so you can see the screws, everything, what you need to, to fix the, the seat track on the ceiling uh, is available. Um, of course, uh, installation and operating uh, manuals where you can get uh, a lot of uh, information also for installation, uh, like also for later on for uh, operating. Uh, one transmitter, uh, this transmitter is the Pearl which is uh, pre-programmed, so with push button number one you can already uh, operate uh, or drive uh, the operator and there is a safety sensor kit uh, uh, included, so it's a two-wire photocell with brackets, uh, comes with a screw, uh, screws, everything you need to fix, uh, the cables are included. So everything what you need uh, for uh, the installation. Yeah, let's come to the assembly. Um, assembly, it's uh, 
pretty easy uh, mountaining. It's just a few steps uh, because of already the pre-mounted uh, carriage uh, in the track. So we try here uh, the production to uh, pre-assembly as much as possible. Uh, that saves you uh, time on the installation. Time, time is money. Um, it's like this. You have uh, the two connectors. You just uh, click them on on the left and the right side <coughs> to the motor. Uh, the next step would be the two uh, C-tracks. Uh, you click them on, and uh, then you have the housing. So the, the uh, here's the transformer included. That's also uh, you have to push it in. Uh, next step is the, the connector. You also uh, push it into the C-track, and then you turn the, the chain for uh, 90 degree, uh, so you could hook it up uh, to the system. And the same you do with the housing uh, uh, on the on the other side on the other end of the C track. Um, then the next step is you would uh, tension uh, the chain. You uh, could use uh, this tool uh, here for, and there is an error. There is a mark. Uh, it's over here, um, which shows you how much you have to tension the chain. So. Um, Till this uh, position it's necessary to tension it. Uh, next would be you could mount uh, the ceiling holder. It's uh, designed of two pieces, so you just slide them uh, together. And uh, the next uh, would be uh, the carriage. So the carriage uh, we see over here is a, a complete new uh, design uh, of the operator. It's now um, the PCB, uh, the, the PCB is mounted directly to the carriage, so um, uh, there is an illumination at the carriage already. There are LEDs uh, inside, and the functions uh, can be uh, retrofitted over here. Um, the PCB itself uh, uh, on, on the carriage uh, got uh, different functions. Um, uh, we want to explain this to you. There is a double hole uh, sensor. Uh, it's pon positioned over here, and uh, this is uh, serves the pass measurement, so uh, uh, you know exactly, or the PCB knows where the motor is, and it's uh, approximately three uh, pulses per millimeter, so it's very exact. Uh, the system always knows uh, exactly where the motor uh, has its position. And this allows us also a free positioning of the end position for door close. So uh, when you uh, teach in the operator, you uh, are free to choose uh, where the end position is. Uh, the force uh, process and the positions are at any time known uh, by the control unit. Um, any changes of the position uh, will be re recognized. So this means uh, when somebody, for example, try to attempt, uh, do an attempt break in, try to enter the garage, get in, uh, this sensor will realize it, and uh, the control unit <coughs> will start the motor uh, to close the door. So keep, keep the door closed. Next is we got a radio system already uh, pre-installed on the, on the system. It's uh, over here, and there are uh, four LEDs uh, as well for the four channels. So uh, it's SOMLOG2, our, our new radio system, and it's like this, the channel one, uh, what you see over here is uh, pulse mode. So this means you push it once, uh, your garage door will open. If you push it a second time, it will stop. And if you push it again, it will close the door. Uh, the channel two, that's a partitional opening or uh, illumination. So if you have a side sectional door, uh, it makes sense to use partitional opening. Otherwise, uh, may be very useful to use your radio to switch on the illumination. Um, channel three is definite uh, door open, so you could uh, just open the door here with this impulse. Or we have channel four definite door close, so that's also uh, possible uh, if necessary. Um, you get a, a feedback uh, from the LED over here, so when you code in, the new transmitter, the LED will flash and shows, show you that there is uh, the, the correct uh, uh, teaching process. Uh, by the way, the transmitter uh, buttons, 
uh, they are freely programmable. So our transmitter, uh, the, the standard one, got four push buttons, but it does not mean that you have uh, to code in push button one to channel one, push button two to channel two. So you could uh, choose which push button, whatever you want, to which channel, but uh, uh, the channels are uh, fixed, so you need to know if you code in push button one to channel four, for example, then you got definite, definite close the door, push button two to channel three, you could uh, just open the door if you prefer uh, operating the operator like this. Uh, next is we got a motor brake uh, over here. There is a resistor and if the speed um, uh, is uh, exceeded, so uh, uh, for example, the, the door uh, will pull the motor and it's too fast, uh, then automatically uh, uh, this control board, the control unit will realize it and the motor brakes uh, actively um, uh, using the brake resistor. So uh, slow down the door uh, to, to uh, correct uh, speed. There are uh, four DIP uh, switch available uh, on the PCB. A factory setting is always off, um, so it's possible you can see it's automatic closing. So if you want to have automatic closing, you just have to switch DIP number one to on. Uh, then you will have automatic closing function. Uh, DIP number two over here, that's a partitional uh, opening or uh, illumination function, so you could switch the light via our radio system. Um, DIP 3 and DIP 4, uh, as you can see, if it's off, it's for sectional door uh, because we think that's the most uh, common door nowadays. If you got a retractable door, uh, please set number 4 to on. If it's a side opening sectional door, please set number uh, 3 to on uh, because the PCB um, knows um, what uh, kind of door uh, is mounted and the settings, the speed, the soft run, uh, several values are optimized to that kind of, of door. Um, there is a reset push button, the green push button uh, uh, on the PCB over here. There's also a green LED uh, which uh, shows you the status, so it will flash in, uh, in different uh, kind of, of speeds. Uh, it's like this, uh, if you push it just one to two seconds, there is a reset of the safety devices. Uh, you need to know if a photo cell uh, is not connected from the beginning or a safety edge uh, is not connected uh, and uh, it's uh, taught in without any safety edge. Uh, and later on, uh, the customer want to have a safety edge, you need to do this reset. And the PCB is asking for this safety edge. If you connect the safety edge, immediately, so uh, during installing, uh, before uh, teaching in, it will be uh, recognized uh, immediately. After five seconds, there is a cancelling of the force values, so they will be deleted. <coughs> After uh, 10 seconds, the end position of the door close uh, will be deleted, so it, it's running time. After uh, 15 uh, seconds, the reset is done. And after 13, 30 seconds, a full reset to factory setting um, is, is done. So this is uh, since October 2017, last year. Uh, this means if you have done any, any uh, changes with some link, uh, they will be also uh, reset to factory setting. Um, yeah, some link uh, we will talk later about uh, what's uh, the function of this tool. Okay, next uh, step is we have uh, the possibility to connect a wicket door switch terminal over here. So um, this means if you have a wicket door in your uh, uh, garage door in, in, uh, included, then it would be necessary to ask this door status. So if it's open, the operator should not uh, be able to, to move the door. And uh, we developed a read contact over here uh, that's possible to connect and it's uh, pretty safe because if there is a short circuit uh, on this cable or if the cable is interrupted, uh, the PCB, the control unit will realize it uh, and there will be a failure and uh, the operator will not run. 
fit broken. Of course, you can connect also a standard uh, read uh, contact over here, or it's possible uh, to connect even a normally uh, 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 close contact over here, and um, it will also um, work if the if the door is open um, and the operator will not run. Next is the, the safety edge. Uh, so it's possible to connect the safety edge. Could be optical uh, safety edge, uh, like we see here, this version, or it could be also electrical uh, safety edge, like we see over here. It's 8K2 or 10K2 systems. Uh, that's uh, uh, possible. Uh, this will be uh, detected automatically while uh, commissioning. Uh, the operate, operator. Remember, please, if you uh, uh, connect this later on, uh, you have to do the reset of, of two seconds uh, on that push button here, and then we, it will be also uh, detected from the control unit. Um, there is a motion uh, called the motion, um, the um, uh, motion detector to switch on the light. So if you got a separate door uh, in your garage, for example, from the house to enter your garage, um, it will detect you and switch on the light, the illumination. So you don't have to do this manually. Could be very useful, uh, but there is much more accessor uh, accessories which are available for. Uh, this operator. So uh, the buzzer, uh, for example, it's also written on the PCB. Um, there is a black uh, plug over here, and the buzzer is alarm and a warning buzzer. So, um, for example, when the door is closing, that's the most dangerous direction. Uh, this buzzer will have a noise. If somebody tries to, to break in to get in the garage and the operator uh, is moved uh, over here, then there will be a uh, alarm uh, set it, uh, or if somebody opened the wicket door, uh, there could be a short alarm like like two two times. Um, yeah, all these functions are also set able um, via Somlink. Um, next, uh, pretty useful uh, tool is the sensor. Uh, it's a humidity sensor. Uh, it's for automatic ventilation of the garage. So we got here a picture. Uh, it's like this, you're driving in with your car, it's, uh, it was a rainy day and uh, there is a lot of humidity, a lot of wet air and uh, nowadays the sectional doors are uh, very, uh, yeah, very safe, very closed, so there is no air ventilation. Normally when they are closed, uh, they are pretty uh, good closed and um, the sensor will uh, realize there is a lot of humidity in your garage. It will open some centimeters on the bottom, the top section will just uh, uh, go a little bit uh, inside and so there is a possibility for the air uh, to have a, a circulation and the air, uh, the wet air could uh, get out of the garage and uh, dry dry your, your garage. Um, our motor is uh, got a self-locking uh, system so you can't open the garage uh, by hand uh, but there is a possibility to connect this lock uh, over here and then uh, it's a mechanical locking additional to the motor uh, all the time when the motor stops. So this is also in the middle position, in the end position, open, close, wherever when it's not uh, uh, running, uh, it's additional locked and uh, we got a 3000 Newton um, additional, yeah, what's uh, locking force. Um, you need to know uh, in standard uh, for the, the chip what's online here on the PCB, there is uh, space for uh, 40 transmitters, so you could code in 40 transmitters. Uh, should be uh, for standard usage uh, more than, than enough, but sometimes um, you have to use it for collective garage, uh, therefore uh, 40 transmitter is um, sometimes not enough. So uh, you could use this memo, it's plug and play uh, over here, and you uh, extend the radio memory up to 450 uh, commands. So uh, if, you, if you need more, um, you're going to have to use this uh, memo. Uh, also, we got a, a USART um, interface um, over here. Um, for example, Homelink, 
I think that's pretty common, uh, especially in the uh, USA. You've got this home link system in, in your car. So um, there is a, a PCB uh, here uh, locked on where you could hook up your home link uh, uh, system from the car directly and uh, use this, uh, let's say, additional to your transmitter. Of course, the, the SOMA radio is working additional, but if you want to use home link uh, as well, uh, it's possible to, to use this with uh, this interface. Um, the carriage, uh, it's like this. Uh, we have one end limit uh, over here uh, on the bottom. This is for the open uh, position of the door. Uh, we have the current co co uh, collector uh, for the chain over here. So it's working with 24 volts DC. And that's the one uh, point. And the next uh, contact are, we have a current collector track over here. There are some brushes uh, driving along on the C track uh, on the inside and uh, taking the, the other uh, uh, tension uh, for the motor. So the motor is uh, working with 24 volt uh, DC. Um, the carriage is made up of two parts, so uh, that means there is a screw. Uh, if you lose this screw, it's possible, you see the red uh, part over here, uh, to get the uh, carriage out of the C-track without um, uh, taking off the C-track, uh, uh, taking the chain out. So it's uh, pretty good for a collective garage where you have to do maintenance, uh, where you have to look for contact sometimes uh, there it's very easy to to get uh, on this uh, upper side of the motor let's come to the ceiling the control unit of uh, evo plus um, here it's like this um, the ceiling um, pcb is mounted directly on the track so over here and uh, uh, it's it's just plugged in uh, holding itself because the, uh, the chain is uh, connected to it. So there is no, no additional screw uh, necessary. It's uh, very fixed, uh, uh, fast uh, mounted. The housing to the ceiling is flat with the track. So here on this side, on the top, it's uh, in one line. So if you got a low headroom, uh, you could mount the operator directly on the, on the ceiling of the garage. Um, we use a Toradel transformer with 100 VA, so more than enough uh, power for all the additional uh, accessories, not just uh, the motor itself. Uh, the protection type is IP21, so it's for inside using, it's for garage uh, using. Please don't use this uh, outside uh, somewhere, a carport or something, it's for uh, inside using. Uh, the, all the voltage area, what's inside, so even if you remove the cover, the area what's uh, mains uh, inside uh, is uh, scoop proof. So uh, if end customer is opening, he can't touch anything. It's uh, very safe. And uh, we got a lot of uh, connectivity possibilities. Of course, a push button. If you got a key switch outside a wall station, um, of course, photo cell, uh, two wire. Uh, is possible uh, to connect uh, over here. So everything what's cable connected, not via radio, is connected over here because the motor uh, on this side is moving. So uh, you have to connect all these parts over here. Um, and the operating mode is also set able over dip switch. We will see uh, on the next page um, for the PCB. So that's the, the control unit, what's inside. Uh, this housing, what we've seen before, there is uh, the transformer uh, connected uh, over here on this point, but uh, here you can connect the external push button, uh, like a key switch, you see it over here, uh, or you can connect both a wall station uh, uh, as well. Uh, wall station, you got three push buttons uh, integrated. First one is to, to operate it. So open uh, and close your garage. The second one, uh, you see it over here, is for the illumination. You, so you could switch on just the light without uh, driving the motor or operating it. And the third one is to lock the operator. So 
So if you press five seconds uh, on it, um, there will also the LED, what's uh, normally green, will switch to red and it shows you it's locked. So this means uh, push button, key switch, uh, even the radio system will not work uh, anymore. So it's completely uh, switched off. So you could use this function, for example, as a holiday function when you go to holiday and you want to be sure everything is locked. Uh, you could use this lock function after you come home. You could uh, say five seconds again on the same push button and it will uh, 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 this, this lock. Uh, safety uh, sensors, two wire are possible to connect over here. On this terminal, it's the gray and the black one. Uh, we have uh, the possibility for additional light, so there are some LEDs available uh, which uh, are fixed on the end uh, of the housing and it's plug and play. So you just connect it to this uh, connector and it will light up uh, for three minutes like the, the LEDs on the carriage uh, itself. Uh, there is the possibility of the battery uh, backup system uh, over here. Uh, uh, it will be connected and it's uh, charging all the time. And if there is a blackout, uh, you could use uh, your uh, transmitter to operate the garage. Uh, it will run uh, through this uh, battery backup. Uh, it uh, uh, contains a charging and uh, motoring uh, hardware inside. So it will be always uh, charged. And uh, yeah, in emergency case, you don't need to use the emergency uh, lock or anything. The key, you could use uh, your transmitter and operate the door um, uh, with uh, electric uh, power of the battery system. Um, next is, uh, it's possible to connect a Conex uh, over here. Uh, the Conex is uh, for connection of wired uh, home automatic system. So if you have an automatic system in your home and you want to operate your garage door operator from the living room, you want to, in the evening you want to close it or you want uh, to open it, whatever, you could control it uh, from here. Um, there are also additional uh, relay or um, open uh, collector available. You see this uh, over here. It's plug and play and uh, you can, could use this uh, for additional light. So if you uh, want to connect uh, additional light in your garage, uh, it's possible over here or indicate door status. That means uh, you could get a, a feedback um, um, or if your door is open or if it's closed um, just to, to know what's the status. You could have a, a LED in your living room which shows, shows you uh, my door is open or my door is closed. Uh, there are also dip switches on the PCB available here. It's uh, also four pieces, but just uh, two of them have got functions. So three and four is no function. Uh, as you can see, factory setting, they are all set to off. So if you have a Conex, um, it's standard uh, like this. You have the pull sequence. You can open and close your garage. You can switch the light or have partitional opening depending on the set and settings of the dip switch on the carriage. If you need definite door open or definite door close. Um, then you could uh, switch dip on, uh, dip one to on, and uh, then you've got uh, this function for definite open or close. That's uh, especially for smart home, for example, necessary. Uh, dip number two, uh, that's uh, relay uh, door status function. So uh, you got uh, the, the status of the door or you got the light function uh, if you have connected the relay. So um, whatever you wish, you can set it over here. Um, let's come to the startup uh, procedure. Procedure. The procedure uh, is uh, pretty easy because it's an uh, automated uh, process. Uh, just a few steps are necessary. Um, it's automated uh, for the end position uh, detection. Uh, it's adjustable uh, uh, um, for the end position and it's automated adaption of the dynamic of the door so you don't need to care about when it's teaching, uh, uh, it's, it's teaching itself the best values uh, for your door, uh, what's required.
Okay, the next uh, is uh, we come to the SOMLOG2, that's uh, the radio system, new development uh, of SOMR, and it's a very safe uh, system because we use 128-bit uh, encryption. Um, we have the auto-repeat uh, function, uh, which means uh, if you stay uh, instead of one second uh, for uh, three seconds on the push button, you have uh, uh, the repeat uh, transmitting, so it's every three seconds uh, sending out within 15 seconds a signal till it's uh, receiving the signal on the uh, operator. There is a hop function. Uh, this means uh, every SOMAR operator knows uh, it's a SOMAR signal and it will forward uh, the signal once uh, to your operator. So it's like a kind of repeater what you know from your Wi-Fi uh, at home. You get a better distance. Uh, the packaging is in folder uh, blister uh, like you can see uh, over here. So it's possible to operate the push buttons uh, without taking it out. Uh, it's brand new when the customer uh, receives it and you could teach it in. And the logo, what's over here, uh, that's lasered, so that's a uh, pretty good quality. Uh, it will not disappear after some years. It will uh, be still there, still nice. And uh, the next uh, is, uh, I was talking about the SOMLINK uh, today, and uh, here we are. That's the SOMLINK. It's a small tool. It's uh, for settings uh, of the drive, of the operator. It's for technician and uh, it works uh, as a follow. So uh, there is an integrated Wi-Fi uh, module over here. Um, there is a, a web server uh, as well integrated and it's uh, universal for smartphone, tablet, laptop. So whatever you've got, you could connect yourself uh, via Wi-Fi uh, with the SOMLINK. And the next step would be uh, you will connect with uh, SOMLOG2, with our radio system, to the operator. So it's a wireless connection from your smartphone to the operator. You don't need any uh, cable. It uh, will translate uh, all your uh, signals. And the functions uh, for this tool are changes of the drive uh, are possible. So you can uh, change a lot of parameters like the speed of the operator, like the soft run, uh, you can have a data uh, backup, so uh, all the data what's stored uh, on the operator, you could uh, 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 download it to the SOM link, and from the SOM link you get it to your laptop. Uh, you could analyze this in the office, uh, uh, you could have it. There is also a possibility to, generation, uh, to have a generation of a backup. Uh, system, you could uh, load your own profiles uh, to the drive. So if you have always the same sectional door type, the same uh, um, seller, the same vendor of the door, and you found out uh, special uh, functions like uh, the speed and the soft run is the best for this door, you could uh, save your own uh, profile and load this data to the operator. And every time uh, you install, you get the same uh, parameters. You don't have to set each each parameter by each parameter. It's all done uh, at once. And uh, last but not least, it's help uh, during installation. Uh, you could uh, very easy set some some uh, things, uh, but it's not a must-have for installation. So you could have it. Okay, uh, what I want to recommend you, there is a demo version of SOMLINK on our homepage. It's somar.eu. Uh, uh, please have a look uh, over there. Uh, you find this demo version and you could uh, see uh, all the functions uh, what uh, available. So this is for garage door uh, now, um, I think most uh, interesting. Okay, so uh, let's come to a summary. Uh, Stefan. Okay, thank you, Holger, so far. So what did we hear about? We heard about the intelligent control unit at the carriage. What does this do with this uh, intelligence? We can detect where the carriage is or if the carriage is moving, in which direction, with which speed and so on. We can do the force detection. 
So we put this all together in the carriage to have all these uh, values and possibilities. Then we put the LED illumination as well in the carriage. The LED illumination is bright and uh, power saving, so it's much better than the bulbs we had before. We have a lot of accessories for this uh, garage door opener. You can uh, buy this laser pointer or this motion or what uh, do you need else. Uh, the advantage of this accessory is that you can uh, mount it directly by commissioning or you can uh, mount it later on, no problem, just plug it on and it will work. Then the commissioning is uh, and the installation is quite easy. Just a few steps you have to assemble and um, the most thing is done uh, automatically from the control unit like the force detection and uh, stuff like this. Then we have this new developed radio system with a 128-bit encryption, very safe and very uh, good uh, mere function. And as well, we have the service tool SOMLINK, new for our new operators. With the SOMLINK, the mechanic is able to set uh, the garage door opener up and make it work at any garage door with all the functions you want and you need. So that's in brief uh, the summary. If we have some questions out there from you, you can ask now. If not, uh, I think we're at the end of our webinar. So uh, many thanks for your attention and maybe we see you again at a webinar from Samo.